Well, I was right. Switch OLED model was announced, and I uh, was not surprised, actually. I was not surprised. I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed, but uh, I was not surprised. The big rumor was that Nintendo was going to show off the Switch Pro, right? The Switch Lite was made for babies. And the Switch Pro, ha! <laughs> I don't, let's just say I don't wear diapers anymore, right? And everyone thought that the Switch Pro was going to release. Even though Nintendo had said that it wasn't going to release. And I believed Nintendo. I believed Nintendo from the beginning. And I think that a lot of people didn't believe Nintendo. They thought that there was going to be a 4K, uh, 4K friggin' handheld monster of a machine and it was gonna just blow all these other consoles out of the water and Nintendo was gonna just just bathe in gold coins for the next 10 years. No, no, it's, it's, it's not what Nintendo does. Nintendo doesn't do that kind of thing. If you have been playing Nintendo for as long as I have, right? Like if, if, you've, if, you're, a, if you're a Nintendo, uh, Nintendude, as, as the phrase goes, if you're a Nintendude, you know that Nintendo has never been into this kind of thing. Nintendo, from the very beginning, launches a base hardware, right? And then slowly improves on that hardware. And the great example uh, from this uh, this image that you can see here is the, uh, the Nintendo DS. The DS is a perfect example of this. Holy crap. So the DS is a direct evolution from the uh, Game Boy Advance, which became the Game Boy SP, which became the DS. Ooh, wow, wowee, the, the dual screens. And then there was the DS Lite, which was a less clunky DS, and then there was the 3DS, and then the 3DS XL, and the 2DS, and the 2DS XL, the whatever, I don't freaking know. And there was just a million DSs, and no one complained. No one said, hey, we're gonna get a 3DS that just, that for, for big boys, ooh, yeah, I'm not wearing diapers. And everyone was, like, because that's what Nintendo does. They've always done this. They release base hardware and improve on it. And so the Switch, which is only halfway through its life cycle, has only received one change to its hardware, which is the Switch Lite. And that is pretty on brand. And so the Switch OLED releasing was also kind of on brand. Uh, they have focused primarily on the handheld market, a market that they created and that they have ruled forever. There was never a reason to make a Switch Pro until now. And that's why I'm making this video. That's why I'm so excited. Ah, I'm so friggin' excited. Because, right, because the Steam Deck, right, which is possibly, it would be the worst name if Switch OLED model didn't exist. Switch OLED model is pretty bad. Um, they could have just gone with Switch Big. Switch Big. <laughs> Um, Switch B Kyoshi. Yoshi! <laughs> um, and that would have been a better name, but the Steam Deck just announced. It just got announced. And it also has pre orders happening right now, and it also is releasing uh, for this holiday season, just like the Switch OLED, which I will now refer to as the SWOLED because it's OLED with a s s Switch. You know, you get what I'm saying. The SWOLED. And the Steam Deck they essentially have been announced at the same time and are releasing at the same time. And I am just so excited about that. I really am. Because, like I said, Nintendo essentially created the handheld gaming market. And now, their stupid $350 um, white switch with with wide adjustable stand. Ooh, and the, the, the LAN port. Wow, oh, man, 60, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Right, okay, we're gonna talk about the Steam Deck. We're gonna talk about the Steam Deck for a second. What is the Steam Deck? It's a Switch, okay? It's Valve's Switch, and you can't convince, you cannot convince me otherwise. Um, no, it doesn't have Joy-Cons, okay? But Nintendo has always been gimmicky, and they realized that the, the Wiimote was going to live forever, and so that, that's what they're doing. The Steam Deck is just a computer. It's, ju it's just a computer. They even say, look, look, listen to this right here, this is what they say. It's a PC. We don't think people should be locked into a certain direction or a certain set of software that they can install. 
If you buy a Steam Deck, it's a PC. You can install whatever you want on it. You can, you can attach any peripherals you want to it. Maybe a better way to think about it is that it's a small PC with a controller attached as opposed to a gaming console. See what I'm saying? It's just a computer. You can do anything on this thing. It even has like a port like the Switch does, and you can just have it be your computer. You buy one of these, you buy a monitor, boom, you have a computer. You just hook it up to your TV and it would work just fine, right? With a mouse and keyboard. It's awesome, right? Valve has only made like some hardware and it's finally has led to this glorious moment where now every single person who owns Steam has a legitimate reason to buy something that isn't the Switch with all the benefits of the Switch. I mean, not all the benefits of the Switch, right? I mean, you can't buy friggin' Breath of the Wild and you can't buy Mario Odyssey and you can't buy the Garfield card, I don't know. But we're gonna talk about pricing for a second. We're gonna talk about pricing for a second, okay? Because even Gabe Newell, the creator of Valve, said that the uh, that the pricing for these things is rough. Well, if you don't want to pay, right? If you don't want to pay another one hundred and thirty dollars for, let's see, uh, one hundred and ninety-two extra gigabytes, here's a little trick: you can just pay thirty dollars for two hundred and fifty-six gigabytes because you can just get a friggin' micro SD card and plug that bad boy in, like it's a like it's a friggin' I don't know, like a switch, <laughs> like a switch with their freaking cartridges and crap. Like you can, you can just buy an SD card and download all the games on it. Now you don't have to worry about downloading Doom and it taking up all the space. And I really do think everyone should be buying a Steam Deck. Honestly, if you're thinking about buying a new computer, if you're thinking about buying a Switch, but you also, because of the portable aspects of it, then yeah, you should get this. You should get the Steam Deck. If you want to buy a Switch because you really want to play Breath of the Wild, and you you know, then you're out of luck. You're gonna have to play Genshin Impact or something. But the Steam Deck is just this perfect marriage of so many ideas. And you can play like friggin' Steam games and Epic games, and you can download anything on this thing just the same way you do a computer. And on top of all of that, this is the real reason I'm pushing for any of this at all, right? This is the real reason. Here's 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 the real reason you came here. If the Steam Deck succeeds, then Switch can't make garbage consoles anymore. You heard me right. You heard me right. Because Nintendo is the only people making these handheld consoles. They're the only people competing in the market that they created. Maybe this thing is gonna flop. But if it succeeds, if the Steam Deck finds a way to break into the market and actually compete, just compete at all with the Switch and actually take away from some of the sales of the Switch, then Nintendo has to compete. Nintendo has to come up with better hardware. With, I mean, their games, frankly, are already so solid. If the Steam Deck succeeds, then it shows Nintendo that handheld consoles need to be more powerful. So go buy a Steam Deck so that Nintendo has to do better. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You want a Switch Pro? You got angry? Did you get angry that the Switch Pro friggin' didn't happen? If you got angry that the Switch Pro didn't happen, if you really did want a Switch Pro to happen and that this wasn't it, get that Steam Deck. It has everything that the Switch Pro has. It's literally everything that the consumers want. So, do, so get it. <laughs> so get it. Anyway, thanks for coming to watch my video. I really do appreciate it.